Hey guys, uh, won't be doing too much today, um, but I've come out to the shed because I just wanted to glue this uh, and get it all set. Uh, I've sorted that out. I've also got one of these that broke as well. Um, so I think what I'm going to have to do, what I'd like to do is just put a little bit of, um, tomorrow, a bit of JB Weld across there and there just to sort of strengthen this up. And I'm going to wrap a bit of JB Weld around there because the screw obviously goes in there. And when you're going to twist, I think that is going to, um, I think that's going to twist off. So I'm going to sort of pack a bit of JB Weld in there just to add a bit of, a bit of strength. Um, but I just wanted to show you something as well. Um, I was just having a look at these three. Um, and... Uh, Obviously this is like 50 odd years old, 52 years old, so that's plastic housing. This is obviously the temperature gauge, and there's the lovely fuel gauge. Uh, and this is the uh, amp meter, oh, there. let me just bring this over into the light. Look at that, 52 years of all that power has melted the casing. Um, so I don't think I'm going to be reconnecting this. I think I'm going to get myself a voltmeter. Um, for those of you that don't know, with the uh, alternator meter, the ammeter, um, all the power basically comes back through this gauge before it goes back to um, the battery. Like, you know, the power from the alternator is, is coming through here to let you know what charge you've got and then goes back to the battery so uh, on the uh, what screws on to the back the the black and the red that screws on what you can do is is just um, put those two together and put like a little nut and bolt through uh, and then obviously wrap it uh, with insulating tape so that it doesn't touch anything um, and that will be fine but because it's going through this, well, you can see how um, how hot this can get, uh, and I don't trust it. I don't. I've never liked uh, ammeters, um, and this is basically the reason why um, this is a real good cause for your car to go up into flames. Uh, and all that hard work is just going to get burnt to a crisp. So, I mean, it will be going back in the dash, but I will not be connecting that. Um, so when you when you guys, you know, like if you buy a car um, and somebody's got uh, a voltmeter and that don't work, and then you can probably you can probably guess why uh, they've done it. Um, that is just a fire waiting to happen. So, um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do um, when it comes to putting the dash back together. I'm not going to connect that up. That is just way too dangerous. Way too dangerous. You can see these these guys here, they're, they're still lovely and, and white and crisp and, you know, as the day they were made, like, you know. Um, but that is awful. Absolutely awful. So, um, right. So, um just going to give this I'm just going to give this a quick clean up as you can see I started there um, just to take all the dirt and crap off um, yeah uh, and that'll do me for today unfortunately sorry um, I'll add this onto another video when I get back out here right latest for now hey guys a couple of days later managed to get back out here um just gonna spend like half hour out here what i've been doing uh this afternoon is i've just been sort of masking up all the gauges uh ready to give the um needles a quick uh spray of orange just to tidy them up and i've just masked up the um dash well i gave it a paint of so-called silver but it's uh like a dark gray this ain't silver at all and um, the old uh, orange turned up. 
I'm using the uh, fluorescent orange uh, for um, for the needles. Well, all the uh, needles have come out pretty well, actually. I'm quite pleased about them. Um, yeah, at least they look uh, nice and fresh. That's good. Um, and what I've decided to do, because on uh, the um, like the rest of the dash, um, it's actually silver white and black so what i've done i've just it's quite dark in here actually sorry uh hang on here you go try that uh yeah what i've done i've decided to go around it with uh white so I've sprayed white all the way around then what i shall do is um because uh, really what i wanted to do obviously is to get white down in there in that middle down in this middle section if you like um, once this is all nice and dry, what I'll do is take this off, mask up the mask up the top, paint everything inside black, and obviously down the sides as well. Um, and then I have got one of these uh, <coughs> what do you call it? Paint silver pen things, uh, and then you can just go across the uh, the top two edges, so it will be black silver white silver and that's going to look quite nice i think and we've just done the uh, dash really cool surround so uh, yeah that's obviously you can see where it was broke unfortunately but hey it is what it is like i said it's not a trailer coin it's just a refreshing up you know that's quite good Please with that. Lovely. Right, that's the dash reassembled. Um, what I'm going to do is, because I'm not going to uh, connect up the alternator, um, as you can see, it's still a bit skew if. Now, it is in there nice and tight. Um, and what it is, it's because of uh, the situation with that. Um, as you can see, on this side here it's actually raised slightly um, and you can see along the along the back there it's it's cracked uh, so unfortunately it's not going to sit 100% I have tried but it won't sit properly never mind um, but what I'm going to do this is just obviously like a little uh, clock blanking thing um, and because I've got no alternator uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I've got like a little digital um, voltage meter uh, and that will sit in there lovely. So it's very discreet. Um, it is digital but it's um, white uh, digits rather than blue, green, orange, whatever. So I went for the white one. Uh, I know it's only like a cheapo thing but the decent thing is it's only like two connections uh, live on earth and that is it. So you haven't got to get it. Um, you haven't got to put lights to it or anything like that like you do with the normal voltage gauge that sit under the dash. So, um, yeah. So that's the next job. And there it is. Sorted. When that uh, dash screen sits back, that'll, that'll hold that up into there so that will square up nicely. There you go. You'll be quite smart. Bang in. Right, let's crack on. And that's the dash around them. Um, not the best job in the world, but like I say, it's not a trailer queen, but there you go. It's all right. Silver, white in the middle. There you go. Sorted. It's a bit rubbish over this side, but never mind. It is what it is. 
It's homemade. <laughs> and I ain't no professional. That's all right. Sorted. Sorted, George.